you we have to teach our women how to be women. We have to teach uh, those are things that you know helped me early on in in an Israelite group. The Lord had you know things. The Lord had many things said, and if there's anything scriptural or something wise, the Lord helped me to to, to kind of cleave to that while I was studying the scriptures. So I always look to the scriptures more than men, but not understanding that men would be twisting scriptures or they had no fear of the Lord or they were of Satan. So that was that was not my mindset. I understood that Satan came in, some were creeping on the I understood certain things about scriptures that aligned with what men were teaching that wasn't non scriptural. The problem was is that men that were teaching crept in unawares or liked being in a place because the Lord wasn't there. Like the council of men, like having that umbrella or that shadow like it says in Isaiah 30 and 1. So once, but I, I didn't understand that, you know, because if I did, I would have gotten out of there running. Not not fearing, man, oh boy, I better run. But the same way I would run away from a Catholic church, in other words, I, I, I didn't see the correlation because that's where I learned, those are the people that were saying that I'm an Israelite and I verified that in the Bible. They were saying they don't need pork. I didn't understand that the law was much more spiritual than carnal men can ever attain to. Therefore, that is why when we actually turn to the Most High, we, we're not just saying the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul, Psalm 17. We're, we're living it and we're truly converting our soul. We're becoming better. We're not becoming more... Um, how do you say, more um, irascible. We're not com becoming more difficult. We're not becoming more prideful. We're not becoming more um, envious. We're not becoming more hateful. We're not, you know, being um, difficult to our wives and not seeing it. So that's why when we look at serving the Lord, we have to look at ourselves. That's why Christ, Christ got... To the root of all the problems. He, he, you know, Esau has the number of scriptures that Christ quotes. And I, I've heard rumors I've never counted. Because it's not important. Esau talks about carnal things. He, he has all the spiritual words in front of him. And Esau and the wicked of Israel. Or the carnal of Israel. The lost sheep of Israel that don't know the Lord yet. They'll talk about, you know, 613 laws. Oh, Christ quoted 400 scriptures only. Really? Wow. Um... Those are the type of things that those are the those are the type of uh, things from the Bible that Christians talk about, like a robot or a computer that can't give any spiritual understanding, or say, you know, we have to change, or to serve the Lord you have to change. Yeah, I have to change. Don't eat pork anymore. You have to change. Come to our Israelite group. You have to change. You know, be a good Christian. Are you a Christian? The, things that have nothing to do with the actual worship of the Lord. And then instead of hearing, they're going to go try to search in the Bible where the word Christian, you know, is stated a couple of times. When, biblically, the word Christian means a follower of Christ. So instead of actually understanding the Bible, they, they're going to look to justify whatever walk of life they have. Instead of us walking in that darkness or that deception, we have to walk in Christ, truly the Bible, so that we can then begin to fix ourselves because that's what we're commanded to do by Christ and through every single commandment that we're given. The Lord that loves us and adores us shows by his wisdom how much he loves us. Not only by his discipline and putting our people in captivity for the abominable behavior we've had throughout our history when we were in our land, now that we're in captivity, we do every single thing wrong. Don't even raise our kids right. Don't care to raise them. How many fathers have a hand or are the driving force in who their daughter marries today? Let's start there. So we, whether you have a daughter or a son, you have to have a hand, not a suggestion or you, you know, you get put in your place if you try to tell your daughter because that's all our, that's really all our people know how to do. Their daughters come home pregnant if they're a father and have a daughter. Typically they're out making more children or following their lust or picking the wrong woman and then blaming her. No, it comes back to the man. 
The same way that a woman is wicked, if she opposes her man or is in open rebellion against him in the house, before the children, in the mall, in the streets, in the supermarkets, the same way that's abominable and everyone, virtually everyone does it among our people, the same way that we have to make sure that we as husbands, we dwell with a woman according to knowledge and we pick a woman that's wise enough and has the Lord's spirit among his daughters that will hear the word. That's why the scriptures say, Christ's sheep hear his voice. You have a woman that can't listen. How is she going to hear the Lord's voice? You have a woman that hates men and can't respect them. How is she ever going to hear men? She's going to be listening, looking for a woman to teach and being a goddess and being a queen. It's going to be all over the place. So as men, we better be wise. We have to, we're commanded to walk in wisdom. We're commanded to be perfect. Oh, we're not perfect. We're commanded to be perfect because we can't slightly stop committing adultery. We have to completely eliminate adultery from our behavior and our thoughts which is dealing with a woman that already has a man. So once we start to get on that level, then by the Heavenly Father's grace and mercies, we'll continue and be stronger and grow. And then we can teach others, A, do not desire other men's women while we're also not doing it and fighting the temptations that are going to come at us from time to time or more frequently for others, less frequently. But we're all going to be going through that difficult battle to deal with being sober and godly in this present world that's wicked and full of only sin. And like a crackhead doesn't want to leave the crack that's destroying it, our people don't want to leave this world that's destroying them. So that's why we have to shine light and get better because we have, this, there's so many demons and people in the spirit, they're, they're not, that, that captivity is so strong, we have to be really blameless. We have to grow and become more and more like Christ. So like him, we can reach people who have demons in them, who, who have an aversion to light that they desperately need. They need the healing of the Bible in Christ. So whether they don't believe in the Bible or they do, but they believe in lunar Sabbaths that contradict the Bible, we have to have that spirit as we grow to fix ourselves. Because if not, then we're going to be able to reach those people truly, even if they're actual sheep. Because they're, they're, they're sunken into this world. They're rooted in. And it's going to destroy them. And if we have true love, we have to fix ourselves first by following the scriptures, by applying the scriptures. So then we'll know how to love our brethren. And through the Lord, not ourselves, through the Lord, by the word, we're going to be able to reach our people in the way that they must be reached, which is a Christ-like level. That's, not, that's why the disciples, they weren't converting souls immediately, nor did they ever convert anyone without Christ, whether the 3,000 during the day of Pentecost or the Feast of Pentecost in Acts, the second chapter, when they got to all those Israelite brothers and sisters, but mainly the brothers, because again, you know, when, when he said men of Israel, so the multitudes and men and, and women and children were there, but we have to reach our men. That's why people are destroyed. The women, they're doing okay. They have their cars. They, they're educated. They're, they're okay in Satan's world, like a fish in water. We have to save ourselves and save our women. And the majority of them don't want to be saved and won't. Therefore, when we have, when, instead of only figuring, what, you know, brothers in Israelite groups, brothers in Christian churches, brothers in any, any area, that's sincerely looking to help our people or don't know what they're doing. We have to have that mind that even if we think we know, there's much more to learn so we can't walk around in pride. That's the first thing. So we're teachable by our Father's Word. Like Christ said in Matthew 18, um, verse 1 to verse 4. In particular, verse 3 and 4. We have to get rid of that pride and be teachable. Holy husband, my brethren, all praises, honor, and glory to our almighty heavenly Father through his word, Jesus Christ.